Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So the word that I have to share with you right now, Spirit is saying that some people are expecting dividends on things that they did for you 20 years ago, okay? <laughs> uh, what I hear is like, basically there are individuals in your life that have done good things for you many, many moons ago. Now, we're not trying to negate the fact that they helped you, right? We never forget. However, what I'm receiving is that it's time to cut ties with that, that what I hear is like loan, right? Now, of course, if you have an actual loan, pay it, right? But at the same time, I'm talking about like a spiritual, emotional, and mental loan that um, people are holding over your head, essentially, as... Um, some type of like leverage to keep you present in their lives. Okay, spirit. So I even had to look this word up because I was like, wait, what? What does that even mean? I knew it was coming from spirit because spirit often gives me words that I don't even know what they mean. But again, there are persons in your realm of existence currently that are ex living with the expectation of dividends and royalties on favors and help that they lent and offered many lifetimes ago is what I receive, right? And again, you're not negating the fact that anyone has helped you. You understand and recognize that you would not be where you are today without these people having assisted you then. However, you have evolved in such a way since then that that no longer even resonates or connects with who you are today. However, it is constantly being used as leverage to just keep you present. And so what spirit is saying and the bottom line to this bottom line for you is that you have to get into a place and space of reevaluation because what I'm receiving is that you've already taken account and and acknowledge the fact internally, right? Not externally, because you kind of refuse to acknowledge things externally because it's a little bit too painful to admit, because if you admit it, then you may have to take action, right? And that's to know something and to do something are two totally different things, but we're in a season of action, right? Now, <laughs> what I'm receiving is that you have to get into a place and space where you are able to assess the situation as you've already been receiving it within your heart and in intuitively, all of these different types of things. I mean, red flags have been popping up after red flags after red flags, but you've consistently been explaining them away. But what Spirit is saying is that now you can no longer run from those flags that they have been presenting to you. When someone shows you and tells you who they are, believe them. And this road goes both ways, right? And whether this message is about you in terms of someone holding you emotionally hostage based off of something that they did for you lifetimes ago, or you might be the person that is unknowingly or knowingly holding someone else hostage, this is your reminder to take assessment and take action. And what does that action look like for you? It can be various things, but what I'm receiving is setting boundaries releasing people from their the notion that they have to owe you because what i'm receiving is that there is a certain sense of entitlement in the air as well with regard to these favors and this help right it's time to let that go the things that your parents did for you in terms of feeding you bottles as a baby should not be met with the expectation that you have to continuously pay them back for doing what they were supposed to do in that moment. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Because this message is for you. So uh, stop allowing people to hold you hostage or stop holding other people hostage and open your eyes to the truth that has always been presented and the truth that has always been within your heart. This is your time for evolution. This is your time to shine. This is your time to free yourself from the tethers and the binds of people that refuse to walk within their own recovery and, and choose to, uh, they choose to and prefer to keep you tethered and bound. It's time to shift. We are no longer allowing ourselves to stay in the same places and spaces just to claim the title of victim. And that's it. Apple.